Well, hello and welcome to this exercise on uh, vectors, and scalars, and magnitude and simultaneous equation. It is from a past IGCSE uh, uh, high tier uh, question paper, and as such, I think uh, this topic is suitable for AS level algebra and for high school algebra as well. Here we go. And the first section says, or it says, um, uh, a is equal to column vector minus 2, 3, and B is uh, 2, minus 7, and C is 10, minus 10, 21 there. Now, this is first half, this is the first half, half of the whole question there. So I'm going to do the next half in the another slide. Now, for this half, it then says, uh, find 2A plus B, and the second section says, find the magnitude of B. It's not it's not absolute value. It says find the magnitude of B and then it goes on to say uh, MA plus NB where M and N are scalar values there. So MA plus NB is equal to C. I say find the values of M and N show all your working. Okay, now for the first one we got 2A plus B now, that's my 2, which is a scalar value there, and that's my a, which is minus 2, 3, plus b, which is 2, minus 7. Okay. If I expand these brackets here, I then end up with minus 4, 6, plus 2, minus 7. If I do the top section, or if you like the x values, like minus 4 plus 2 give minus 2 and then 6 minus 7 will give you minus 1 so this here is our answer okay now for section 2 we want to find the magnitude of b so if you do 2 squared plus 7 so minus 7 squared so 2 squared is 4 Minus 7 is 49, minus 7, minus 7 squared is 49, 49 plus 4 gives 53. So the magnitude of B is, would be the square root of 49 plus 4, which would give me plus or minus 53. Now don't forget your plus or minus sign there. Okay. Right. For section 3, uh, we are given that MA plus NB is equal to C. And we're supposed to find the values of m and n now don't forget that m is a scalar so if i bring this outside the bracket there i end up with m into minus 2 3 plus n into 2 minus 7 is equal to minus 10 21. now if i then say that minus 2 m plus 2 n is equal to minus 10 and call that my equation one Similarly, I can say that uh, 3m plus minus 7n is equal to 21. And that's my equation 2. If I then multiply equation 1 by 3 and equation 2 by 2, I end up with, for equation 1, I end up with minus 6m plus 6n is equal to minus 30. That is now my equation 3. For my equation 4, I multiply equation 2 by 2. So I end up with uh, 6m minus 14n is equal to 42. And that's my equation 4. If I then add equations 3 and 4, the minus 6m and the 6m in equation 4 will cancel out. So I end up with 6n plus minus 14n, and that will give me minus 8n is equal to 12. If I then multiply both sides by minus 1, I end up with uh, 8n is equal to minus 12. If I then divide, divide both sides by 8, n then becomes uh, minus 12 over 8, which will give me minus 
I shall now substitute this value of n is equal to one, uh, minus 1.5 into equation 4. Okay. So I end up with 6m plus 21 is equal to 42. If I subtract 21 from both sides, I end up with 6m is equal to 21. Divide both sides by 6, m is now 21 over 6. And if I divide the numerator by 3 and the denominator by 3, that will give me 7 over 2. So m is 7 over 2 and n is equal to minus 3 over 2. Now, I hope all that made some sense. Please, please subscribe. Thank you for watching. And 